And now it's time for the wideouts. Now we're going to get rolling, starting with this very first one with Baker. Central Florida. All right. First 40 of a receiver. 4-5-4. Four, four. Okay. For the wideouts, I can give you the... Uh, Give us the, the numbers. The numbers you're trying to numbers we're yeah. shaking, uh, looking for here. When you look at receiving yards, top ten guys last year, the average was four four seven. Okay, there are Ryan Poles and Matt Eberflus of the Chicago Bears, and look who's joining us now in our booth. What's up, dude? None see other man. than Kevin O'Connell. The Coach of the Minnesota Vikings, good to see you. How you doing? I'm doing great. What's going on, guys? I don't know. We're just hanging out. Yeah. How about you? Was Sam a solo runner right there? Only one guy. Do you remember what you ran, by the way? What you I run? do. I think it was... It was he ran fast. I think it was 4.62, 4.61. They told me unofficially 4.57. Yeah. I broke my heart when that six number came out because <laughs> I thought I was... Uh, I just wanted to be in the fives and uh, didn't do it. So, Did you see Brady's running faster now? Did you see that one? You see that? That's unbelievable. Is it legit? What do you mean is it legit? You can do a lot of things. Oh, oh wow. I've seen, I've seen wow. what you guys can do with technology. Well, you, are, you, wow. are you saying it's AI 12 uh, instead of the TV 12 system? <laughs> you know I, I, would, I would not put it past him one bit. <laughs> I, I saw the, wow. I mean, wearing sneakers, turf field. Okay. Beating his time. Okay. I mean, put a pair of cleats on him, he probably... Okay. Probably breaks the fives. Okay. What are we right. talking That's about? I like it. That's, That's the way to come out of the gate here. That's yeah. the way to come out of the gate. <laughs> <laughs> KOC uh, here yeah. at the combine. There's Jalen Coker. All right, let's see. Okay, let's let's just flat out get into it. I didn't even we have know. The video? Gonna, yeah, here it is. See? Kind of looks good, don't you? I think? mean, he opened up that stride. I don't know about the 10 time, but. The 40 yeah. definitely better. I think that pliability helped him once he got about I the 20 so yard too. line and started to open it up. You know a what? Bit. I, I'm, I'm dead serious. I wouldn't put it past him one oh. bit. Unbelievable. He is, would he is you, something else. Would you be faster now? No. Definitely no, not, huh? He no, barely low four sixes. No, was I wouldn't. I, I was talking to some of our guys in our box the other day. They said, could I break five? And I do think I could do that. Okay. Four, nine, seven. There you go. Would be my call. <laughs> What's been standing out to you so far over the first couple days here? at this combine you know I, I we we had some unbelievable interviews great process with guys on both sides of the ball okay. and then getting to see them work out getting i thought the dbs were great uh, yesterday you know kicked it off with those big fellas on the defensive side the first day um, it's been really good man I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing this group throw it and catch it around the guys that are going to be working out big fellow there from florida Florida State. Yeah, yeah that was going to be a, that was going to be the question on him was just the pure speed, but the uh, the catch radius ability to go up and get it. That's kind of his deal. So then let's try and um, make this a little bit, uh, I guess, relatable for for fans out there. What did you see out of Jordan Addison at last year's combine in these sorts of drills that made you go, OK, let's put him on our draft board here? Yeah, he uh, you know, he he jumped out because how he operated every time we saw him throughout the whole process fit with his tape. Okay. You know, you saw exactly the type of separator. You saw what he was all about. Uh, we actually didn't uh, formal interview him last year. At you the did combine. not? Yeah, which, which surprised me because I felt like at the end of the process, we knew him so well, but we did host him on a 30 visit at our facility. He did, you know, it was unbelievable coming in, spending the whole day with him, which I prefer more time with these guys than just the 15 minutes if you can. Um, but even watching his interactions with the guys out on the field, I'm not sure. I can't remember all what he did um, working out that day because, uh, you know, I know he was working through um, some stuff that kind of ended his season early. But um, I'll tell you what, a year later, couldn't imagine drafting anybody else. What a player to add to our team. With how the season went, you know, having having your best receiver in Justin go down for a, a huge stretch of time. And really this guy that we expected to have the year he did, but the way he did it, stepping in in the biggest moments and really becoming our number one, Rich, mm -hmm. uh, can't say enough about the year he had. You mentioned Justin. You know, I always pay attention when you're talking to the guys here, the players here. And and the guy they emulate, we talked about pass rushers, and Max Crosby came up over and over. Yeah. Receiver, Justin, is, yeah. is that guy. Just seeing it every day, what is it that makes him so special? Well, first and foremost, it's it's the competitor that he is. I mean, that guy never steps in between the white lines and, and doesn't make it a point 
to try to continue, you know, elevating himself towards the goal, being the best to ever do it. He wants to go down, um, you know, as one of the guys that they'll talk about forever and ever in this game. And uh, he's certainly talented enough. He works at it. Unbelievable presence in our building. Um, he's, you know, it, it would be, it's not a shock for me to say out there that he's one of my favorite players I've ever coached. But it's not just the talent. It's not just the you know, unbe unbelievable playmaking. Um, it's what he means to our organization. Uh, he's turned first time captain last year, which meant a bunch to him, voted by his teammates. And he's going to build on this uh, this past year and, and, and get ready to have a great offseason. Here comes quarterback question. Okay. Go ahead, Rich. <laughs> Wait, come on. I can just see and it. Yeah, I yeah me too. I, felt it. I didn't even have to look. I, I, you no, know. He's got to go back and he's got to evaluate these guys. And yeah. I'd like to use my one Kirk Cousins question. There you go. If I may. I told you, you can have one. <laughs> Well, here it comes. Make it a good one, Rich. All right. Uh, where do things stand in your conversations with Kirk, with the new league year coming up in, uh, in about 10 days? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, the combine just kind of gave everybody else an opportunity, even whether they're supposed to be or not, um, to, to maybe have some conversations. But I've been having kind of the, the dialogue that, 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 that you have with a player like Kirk Cousins, the relationship we've built up over a long period of time. Um, I know Kirk, you know, where he's at in this whole process. He's, he's earned the right to be a free agent, and, you know, he's played really good football. I think he's, I think he's uh, you know, 18 and 7, whatever his record is since, since I arrived in, uh, in, in Minnesota mm -hmm. coaching him, and I've had a blast coaching him, his fit in our offense, where we've kind of taken our version of the offense to um, with guys like Jordan and, and Justin and TJ. Um, I know Kirk's going to go through a full process. He's a process guy, and uh, you know, hopefully, uh, we continue to be a strong part in that process, and, and we figure out a way to keep him a Minnesota Viking. But my expectation is we're not going to be the only ones that would like Kirk Cousins to be our, our the quarterback of our team in, in 2024. Thank you for not only coming into the booth, but just you know, being here at the combine. I mean, so many coaches are just yeah. not even physically here. So we have actually come up with a gift for you to actually be at the combine. It's it's wrap. Did you we really just put it laptop in a plastic cover. bag? That's a laptop cover there on Jordan. Yeah. Here, a skin. Should, should yeah. I open it up? I would or? love to see what it is. Right, here, I'm a little concerned right now. No, no, don't be concerned. Well, the presentation right. is, is it's, everything. It's lacking. Yeah, well, sometimes. It's lacking but we didn't know, have any tissue paper. Here he goes. <laughs> what do we have here? Let's see. We've got the NFL Network. Okay, and. You know what? This is awesome. What are we talking about? This is phenomenal. What size did you guys go with? Oh, that was we went small. Extra medium. That was for that was for McVeigh, but he oh, wasn't oh, here. Oh. Size wise, so Sean, I, wow. Sean, Sean would Sean would absolutely okay. tell you right now he would not fit in that. But uh, okay. you know, I think, well, I think there's a coach two or three boxes down that you guys keep putting on television that I. Can oh. Get. McDaniel, <laughs> you've been called No, out. no, no. I nobody nobody loves Mike more than me. Understood. But, but I think that, we should I think we should throw him back on the TV one more time. There we go. There he there is. is. There, there he is. is. Hold yes. on. Him. Hold yes. it up. Hold up the shirt. See, up. If that, let's see if we can hold it up. Mike, this is he thinks this is gonna be <laughs> your size. That's for you. That's for him okay. right there. Because he's here. I might go hand deliver. There uh, you go. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Awesome. No, I appreciate it, guys. Yeah, Coach, all right. see you, man.